Hi everyone. Today's topic is calculation of wealth. How can we calculate wealth? So, this wealth can be basically related to three things. One is when our weight will be given, we will be asked to calculate wealth. So there are three sub categories we can see, either from weight or from number of molecules or number of atoms or if it is a gas then we can relate it to volume of gas in liters and stp or ntp so let's consider these three as three cases, right? So case one, when weight is considered, okay, weight of the substance is given. So how many moles is equivalent to that particular weight that is given? How to calculate that? Now, we already we have seen that gram molecular weight or gram atomic weight is equivalent to our one mole. Okay, that we have already seen that whenever we are talking about gram molecular mass or gram atomic mass, we are talking about one mole of the molecule or one mole of the atom. So let's take, uh, let's uh, continue with any one of them. For other one also, it will be same. So if I'm talking about gram molecular mass, Let's say we are taking as molecular weight. We are denoting that gram molecular weight as molecular weight grams is equivalent to one mole of the substance. So one gram will be equivalent to how many moles? One upon molecular weight moles. So now suppose of the same substance, we are talking about substance X. So that same substance is given to us, but now let's say some different quantity is given. Y grams of substance X is given to us. So one gram is equal to how many moles? One by MW moles. So Y grams will be equal to one by MW, which is the mass of one, one gram into Y moles. So what did we do basically? If the molecular weight is equivalent to one mole, then one gram will be equivalent to one by molecular weight moles. Then if suppose any Y gram is give, given to us, so Y gram will be equivalent to how many moles? One by molecular weight into Y. So from here, one formula we are getting, that is moles is denoted with N. That is equal to, Weight, weight here is nothing but this Y upon molecular weight of the substance. So this is a formula that we have got. This is our first formula for calculating moles when the uh, weight of the substance is given to us. Now, coming on to the second case, that is our case 2. When number of entities are given, okay, capital N. Capital N is number of entities. Entities can be atoms, molecules, anything. Now, we already seen that any number of entities is equal to one mole. So one particular entity will be equal to how many moles? One upon any, any moles. One upon any moles. So if I, if I say I have n number of entities, so it will be equal to how many moles? One upon any into n. Now, this we have considered as entities. We will see for both molecules and atoms now. So, if we have any number of 
molecules that means we have one mole of molecules okay so one molecule will be equivalent to how many moles one upon na so suppose we have n number of molecules so n number of molecules will be equivalent to one upon na into n so from this one more formula we are getting that is n is equal to n upon na so this is our formula where this n represents what number of molecules so if suppose they are asking uh, how many number of atoms will be present suppose they have given a molecule h2o let's say they have given two moles of h2o and they are asking how many number of atoms are present in that so using this formula you are finding what number of molecules we are finding so n is equal to n upon na so 2 is equal to n upon na so n will be what 2 na so this 2 na is what 2 na is the number of molecules of h2 but if we are asked number of atoms then one molecule contains how many atoms that means i am asking you the atomicity of h2 one molecule of h2o contains three atoms so two na molecules will contain how many three into two na atoms so please note when we are talking about six na atoms when we are talking about molecules then this na represent this n represent molecules only so if in that question you are asked atoms number of atoms then definitely you have to multiply this n with the atomicity in order to find out the number of atoms but if they tell atoms only like if they say n a number of atoms if they talk about atoms itself then n is equal to n upon na they are this particular n is nothing but atoms itself because from the very beginning whatever moles is given that is depicting atoms only right okay so here one more formula we have got what formula we have got n is equal to capital n upon na so this is our second formula that we have got now third case third case we can relate the moles with volume of any gas if it is gaseous then we can relate moles with the volume of gases in liters at standard temperature and pressure now here in this case 3 definitely we are relating moles with volume in liters of gas at stp what is stp standard temperature and pressure what is standard temperature and pressure standard temperature and pressure is pressure is equal to 1 bar temperature will be 273 kelvin and when we will calculate the volume keeping this pressure as 1 bar and temperature as 273 kelvin the volume will be coming around 22.7 liters okay now this was the first one that is stp second one is ntp ntp is normal temperature and pressure normal temperature and pressure so normal temp pressure is one atmosphere and temperature will be 273 kelvin so when we calculate the volume keeping these values the volume comes as 22.4 liters 
so in case of stp the volume is 22.7 in case of ntp the volume is 22.4 one more uh, condition is there that is s a t p generally in the questions this s a t p will not be given stp and ntp will be given so at that time we will take the volume as 22.7 or 22.4 accordingly but what is s a t p standard ambient temperature and pressure so at standard ambient temperature and pressure pressure will be 1 bar and temperature is taken as 298 kelvin so when we calculate the volume the volume will come around 24.6 liters so based on what condition is given stp ntp or satp the volume will keep on changing okay we are talking here about one mole for everything we are talking about one mole now how it will it will relate to mole so here when i say one mole it means that if we consider this stp then 22.7 liters of gas at stp is equivalent to at stp is equivalent to one mole of the gas so one liter will be equivalent to one upon 22.7 moles so suppose any xyz volume is given of any gas so volume i am taking as any other, any value volume at stp some value is given so that particular liter will be equivalent to 1 upon 22.7 into volume that is given at stp in liters why liters because here also this value is in liters so if it is in ml do convert it into liters first or if you are using this volume in ml then you have to change this also to ml so it will become 22700 ml right so one more formula we have got relating to uh, volume of gas that is nothing but n is equal to volume in liters at stp divided by 22.7 so this is another formula to calculate moles when volume of gas in liters at stp is given this is the third formula so total three formulas we have got now we will club all these formulas how n is equal to W by molecular weight or atomic weight, both we can say. If it is a molecule, then molecule gram molecular weight. If it is a atom, then it is gram atomic weight. N is equal to n upon Na, and n is equal to volume in liters at STP upon twenty two point seven. now i can equate i can relate all these three formulas together as n is equal to w by mw that is equal to n upon na and that is equal to volume in liters at stp of any gas upon 22.7 so all these are interrelated i can relate n with this n with n by n a n with volume by uh, 22.7 i can also relate weight entity and number number of molecules i can also relate weight with volume i can also relate number of en entities with volume so all these are inter related so we can use it accordingly so this particular formula is very very important so any value can be given for example n can be given and they can ask you weight so at that time you will equate only these two and 
molecular weight we will gram molecular weight we will be knowing na we know and we can easily calculate weight if n number of molecules or atoms are given now quickly we will do one question before we move forward this is the question that is given so we have to calculate the number of moles let's do the first one the first one states that we have 20 uh, 224 grams of se that means w is given as 224 grams and what is the gram molecular weight gram sorry this is not molecule right this is one atom of iron so here it will be gram atomic weight so gram atomic weight of iron is nothing but 56 grams so what will be our moles n is equal to w upon a am so 224 upon 56 that will give you a answer of 4 moles i would like you to pause the video and try the second and third before matching your answers please do try yes so the second one states that we have this many amount of atoms number of atoms so n is given here n is atom only because they have mentioned oxygen atoms so n is given as 12.044 Into ten to the power twenty four, and we know N A is equal to six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three. So just we have to put it in the formula. Which formula? This formula. So N is equal to N upon N A. Put the values twelve point zero four four into ten to the power twenty four upon Six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three. Then you will calculate this. How much will you get? Around twenty twenty moles. This will be the answer for the second one. Third one. How many liters of neon at STP is given? Fifty five, forty five point four liters. So this is our volume in liters at STP. So what will be our n? N will be equal to volume upon twenty two point seven. So that is nothing but forty five point four divided by twenty two point seven. That is nothing but two moles. I hope you could do it on your own. we will practice more numericals but before that we will draw we will we will see how to remember this three formulas in a uh, efficient way so there is something which is known as y map y map y map helps us to remember how to calculate moles from different different entities that will be given so let's say we have moles now first one was our first we related moles with weight this is our weight now whenever we need to weigh, whenever weight is given and we need to calculate moles from weight then what should we do we should divide this weight with atomic gram atomic mass if it is atom or we should divide it with molecular weight if it is a molecular if it is a molecule now suppose moles is given and we need to calculate the weight then what should we do we need to multiply it with atomic weight if it is a uh, atom or we need we need to multiply it with molecular weight if it is a molecule so from weight to moles and moles to weight this is the thing that you should do if weight is given and we need to calculate moles we have to divide it with the weight of respective atom or molecule and if moles is given and we need to 
uh, get weight, then we have to multiply with the respective weight that is given. Now, next entity with which we have connected moles is our now number of entities so if number of entities that is our n is given and we need to find out moles then we need to divide that n with na but if moles is given and we need to find out the number of entities then we have to multiply it with na we'll multiply whom multiply the moles with n so when we are going from moles to n we have to multiply with avogadro's number coming on to the third one that is our volume in liters of any gas volume in liters of gas at stp so suppose again if volume is given and i want to get moles i want to calculate how many moles are there uh, in that particular uh, volume of gas that is given then i need to divide it with 22.7 and suppose moles are given and i need to find out in that particular moles how much volume in liters of the gas is present then i need to multiply it with 22.7 so whatever formula we have written at the top this one this particular formula you can remember in the form of a y map that is shown over here this is very very important for few people uh, whichever like you feel is comfortable for you to remember you can go with that y map or that uh, chain formula that i have shown right now there is an important concept i hope you have uh, taken i and and one more important thing i hope you are taking notes of your own see this thing uh, just by listening this won't work you have to make your own notes in order to understand things much more clearly so i am hoping that you are taking down everything taking note of everything that is a very good practice yeah coming on to the next topic there is a very important topic rather a concept what is the volume of what is the volume of one mole of an ideal gas just now we have written volume of one mole of an ideal gas is equal to 22. Four liters or seven liters at STP or twenty two point four liters at NTP. Now, when we are converted into uh, meter cube, then we have to multiply it with ten to the power minus three meter cube. It will be okay. Now, radius of now we are calculating this for hydrogen atom. What is the radius of hydrogen atom? Let's take it as R. that will be equal to now diameter of hydrogen atom is one angstrom okay one angstrom we will see we will study about uh, this in structure of atom but for now you just note down that it is one angstrom so the radius will be one angstrom by 2 so that is coming around 0.5 angstrom that is equal to 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter I'm converting everything into meter i have converted liter also into a uh, meter a meter cube so here also we have converted into meter now volume of 
one hydrogen atom will be volume of a sphere right four third pi r cube so it will be four third into pi into zero point five cube into ten to the power minus thirty meter cube. So this we have already made cube and have written ten to the power minus thirty. This is the volume of one hydrogen atom. So what will be the volume of any hydrogen atoms? The volume of any hydrogen atoms will be this entire term into n. So that will be four third pi zero point five cube into ten to the power minus thirty into Six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three meter cube, right? So when we calculate this entire thing, so when we are talking about NaH atoms, we are talking about one mole of hydrogen atoms. So volume of one mole of hydrogen atoms, when we calculate this entire thing, we get it around three point one five into ten to the power minus seven. Meter cube. So this is the volume occupied by uh, hydrogen, one mole of hydrogen atom. But ideally, what should be the volume of one mole of an ideal gas? It should be twenty-two point four into ten to the power minus three meter. So if I say this is a container, this is this volume is around. Twenty-two point four into ten to the power minus three meter cube. Definitely, one mole of H to H atom should occupy all this volume. But what is the actual volume of the H atoms? It is this much. So if we compare these two volumes, if we compress all the H atoms together at one corner, it will be around this much. It is almost negligible. Negligible. The volume of NaH atoms is almost negligible to the volume of the ideally how much volume it occupies. So from here we can conclude that there is a lot of space, the intermolecular space between the uh, gas gas molecules is very very large. So if I find out a ratio, ratio between The volume of volume occupied by one mole of ideal gas and the actual volume of the uh, one mole of H atoms it will be twenty two point four into ten to the power minus three upon three point one five into ten to the power minus seven. It will come around seven point one into ten to the power four. So this ratio is very very large, and what does it depict? it depicts that it proves rather that the intermolecular space in gases is very very large so basically it should occupy this much amount of space but as because there is large amount of space inside the um, Like between the gas molecules, it is occupying a large amount of volume. This much amount of volume it is occupying. So I hope you have understood. So basically, whatever if you if you try to uh, subtract this amount of uh, this volume from the entire volume, it will be almost negligible. The subtraction part will be almost negligible. so almost the entire part is our vacant space okay so i hope you have understood this now that why the intermolecular uh, space is so much large uh, and uh, yes that's all for today and uh, next class we will be uh, seeing certain numericals we will be practicing a lot of numericals uh, next class in the next video will be solely on uh practicing numericals thank you so much see you in the next class